They've got a bench, Maggie, that can that can actually help this team, right? There's not this substantial drop-off when you're going to your bench players. So all of that is a positive, and that's really what's different about this Met team as compared to recent teams in, Met, in, in, in recent years where you've had massive reservations or failures with the bullpen, and when there's been injuries and you've looked at that bench, you say, these guys aren't particularly good. Well, now... They can find answers with role players on the bench of guys stepping in because they're major league quality bench yeah. players. Yeah, and, and and I like I don't know how to explain Patrick Mazika. Like nobody can really explain that. In it's fact, great. I he no, doesn't have I, a hit, and he's got walk off hits. He's got you know walk offs. He's getting his jersey torn off. It's fantastic. Loose. I mean, it's it's just great. I mean, it, it really is. There's a guy, and 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 really everyone loves him. Strowman talked about loving him last night. They love the way he grinds. You, you listen to Luis Rojas after the game saying, "Go back to the minor." At least he's going to give you a really professional at bat, Maggie, and and he does. And there's <laughs> limitations to him, but it's a tremendous story early on here because he just looks like such the non baseball player when he's stepping in there with the glasses and the beard and the shaved head. They rip the jersey off, you know. There's there's not a muscle to be seen, and there he is being the the conquering hero last night as VR slides into home and he gets the game winning fielder's choice. It's just a great story, and it's a guy that you you can clearly relate to because he's not this Greek. Adonis, and he's sitting up there and he's being a productive bat off the bench for this Met team. So according to Elias, in four career games, he's got two career walk-off RBIs. He's the first player since the RBI be- RBI became an official stat in 1920 with multiple walk-off RBIs in his first four career games. Like, nobody can explain this guy. I just, like... I, I don't I don't know how to explain it. And it's not like he's really getting a like ripping these balls, you know, for these game winners. It's just like these fielders choice, but you got a runner there on third and he's able to win the game. Cool, you'll take it. I mean the yeah. bench mob, like I don't consider Mazika necessarily part of that bench mob. I'm thinking like Nito, Villar, Pilar, you know, those guys. Like that's legit to me. You know, I think that's a yeah. legit backup squad that is better than just backups. Mazika's just like who knows? And what's funny about Mazika, and I don't know if you've noticed this too with the walk-offs. So you have like euphoria because it's a walk-off. You know, it's just crazy celebration. And then all of a sudden, like last night, I noticed it even more than the other night, where you have Steve Gelbs then does the interview with him, and it's like somebody just like turned the music off at the party. Like he's so stoic. It's there's no like oh my god I'm living this dream I can't believe it Tom Who, is cool this real life had it all the time. You know, he's just like, well, I really just tried to um, see the ball and I wanted to contribute to the team. It's like, dude, what? Like, c- hello? Hello? You are now like a, a – you're, you're part of the lore now. Like, we're never going to forget you. He's got all these crazy nicknames I'm seeing on like FC Mazika, Patty yeah. Zeeks. You know, I call them Dostoyevsky. He's also got a little Amish assassin in him. Who is this guy? Pat Mazika. But you're here now. You're You're one of us now. And he's just like – Goes no, from these huge moments to like this very quiet sort of reserved dude in real life. So there and we go. And taking it and taking it all in stride. 